Hey, what's going on folks? Pika here. So one of the best way to access a small lake or a small pond is with an uh, inflatable raft. And I got one here. This is the Intex Excursion 4. And if you've been following my channel, you know I actually started off with the inflatable raft. That was the uh, yellow and green Sevilor. Um, when that one died uh, many years ago, uh, I bought this. So I've had this in my closet all this time. But today we're going to set it up and we're gonna go uh, trout fishing in this lake right here. Okay, so just a really quick spec about this uh, raft. This is, uh, let's see, it's a uh, 10 foot four inches. It has a weight capacity of 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. So we're, we're gonna be way under that, just the two of us. It's not a very uh, light inflatable raft. It's a little bit heavy. I'm guessing, uh, I didn't weigh it, but I'm guessing it's about 40 pounds. But uh, let's open this up and set it up all right, so to blow this up, we're gonna need a electric pump. I got one right here, and I got this motor mount for it, so we're gonna put like an electric motor on it. It's a 45 pound thrust. Oh man, that's a big box. Yeah, really heavy. All right, so there it is. Comes with a bag. Let's unzip this puppy and see what it's got inside. There we go. These are the oars, it looks like. Rope for the side, I believe. Uh, what is this? Instructions. Don't need that. Okay, there it is. Okay. Wow. There it is. The raft and uh, all laid out. So let's see. How many holes does it have? Looks like three holes. That's it. Three chambers. My electric pump uses AC, so. The only way to use on this battery is to have an inverter, okay? So these holes are marked two and three. I assume that's number one. There should be a pressure meter telling you when yeah. it's full, but... Yeah, there isn't. So the air hole is uh, anti-deflate. It's kind of nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Here we go. Now for the last one, oh, yeah, they do. but we're not going to use them okay? because we got a motor. Are we going to hold them? Nice looking oars. Yeah. It's got a good locking mechanism. This one's not quite out all the way though. It's okay though. No, it's good. There it is. There's the oar. Well, we're not going to use the oars anyway, so. Oh, you sure? Oh yeah, I guess we're not. We only need them for emergency. We'll bring it, yeah, just in case the uh, motor Got craps it. out. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. Almost there. Okay, so we got the motor mount here. We're gonna put these arms in these holes first, and then these two prongs down here to go in these two holes right there. So let's put in the arms there, and you just gotta jostle in this hole right here. There you go. This guy goes right there. All right, after that, you have to, uh, you got this nut here, and it's going to go on the two arms, and then these two go right here so that they lock in place. Okay, folks, there we go. We got uh, everything all set up now. Um, the motor mount is installed. It's nice and secure. Um, the raft is inflated. So there it is. Give you a look around. Pretty awesome. Can't wait to get out there on the lake. It's really nice. I don't have a floorboard. I have to get some plywood later and uh, put it in here. Um, so that way you can walk on it a lot easier. So all right, let's bring it down to the lake and set it up on her main voyage. On there tight so we're gonna load everything up make sure the motor runs. yeah the battery's pretty easy we'll uh, hook it up out there so we're gonna push it out first and we're gonna hop on that uh concrete and then we'll uh load everything on there Oops. well you know what might be easier if we go on that side and use the ropes lift it up lift it. oh yeah just put it right on so is there a way to turn the motor around so you're gonna go on further go ahead and go on there you gotta jump Actually, it goes up back here. No, 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 you're fine. I've done crazier things when I had my other raft. Okay, you can let go. Let go? Yep. We are in. All right. Ah. 
There he goes. Okay, folks, finally we are on. Woo! That's unstable. We got um, the most important thing on this raft. It's a life jacket right here. So I got the motor here. Okay, there we go. Yep, we're going. All right, I see motion. Here we go. That thing's so quiet. It is, it's really quiet. So without the floorboard, what I'm noticing is very wobbly. Not wobbly, but it's just kind of hard to walk on and move around because when you put your foot or your knee anywhere, you're gonna sink right in. So it, you know, it gets you off balance. But uh, we are moving out on this lake. It took us, we started about 7.25. It is 8.16, so roughly almost one hour to set up. Um, so this is a, like the first setup for this raft. Um, as you do it more and more, the time is going to decrease. You can get better at it, get more efficient. But just just remember, just give yourself roughly about you know 40 to 45 minutes to set up this raft. So we are on it, pretty happy, pretty stable. Initially, it's uh, it's pretty nice. It's got a lot of room. I feels like there is so much more room than my old Sevalor. I think the, the floor here is more wide open. You can put it like a lot more gear on it. Now, even though it is rated for four people, I don't think you can fit. There's no way, right, Jay? No way. Not, yeah. not if you're going to bring your stuff with you. Three at the most. I would say three maximum. Three adults, I would say. But anyways, um, let's set up our fishing rods and start catching fish. Um, I got old corn out here. It's all dried up. So we'll take those corn off. And I got this uh, Brad's um, cut plug. We caught some cochlea and chai with it. So we're gonna use that. Uh, this one's, Jay, this is gonna be your rod. And I got a flasher on here. Okay. And no weight. Uh, we're going for trout. And most of the time, trout are right near the surface. So we don't need any weight. So it's just a flasher and that cut plug, all right? And I'm gonna tip it with the uh, power bait honey worms. This is my first time trout fishing in Oregon. Yeah? Yeah, four years here, first time. Sweet, Ho hopefully we do well. I'm counting on you, PK. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got my bag of history here and all kinds of stuff in here. Hooks, power bait. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to put the uh, sticker on it. I do have the title, I forgot to mention that, so let me mention that really quick. Because we have a motor, you have to register in Oregon and you have to get a tag. So I got the tag here. I also got the, the vinyl decals here to put on the side. Um, so we'll, we'll do that eventually. So that's very important. If you have a motor on the raft on any craft, you got to get it registered in Oregon. Um, that's just the law. So to that cut plug, I'm going to tip it with the pyrobait honey worms. These are the natural colors. Sorry, yellow. Are they scented? Yeah, they're scented. They look just like that. Just a little grub. And we'll put that right on the trailing hook. Pretty simple. Okay, just like that. And for the scent, we are going to use uh, Procure Nightcrawler Gel. For the cut plug, you can remove this rub rubber band in the back here. And it opens up like that. And it's got a foam in there. That foam is to hold the scent. So you just dabble a little bit of gel on there. That's good enough right there. And you close it back up and you put the rubber band back on. Okay, just like that. So see, you, you can see the scent, you can see that gel come out of that hole. So that's gonna give it a lot of, uh, like a really long scent trail. What size, uh, <clears throat> what size rod are you using, PK? Okay, so here we go. Uh, for this rod, I'm using my old kokanee rod. It's a six, no, it's a seven foot, I believe. What size is this? This is a seven foot. It's a really light, really flimsy rod. And that's what you want because uh, these trout, they have a soft mouth and you wanna make sure you don't rip the hook from its mouth. So we're gonna let back. I got a line counter here, Jay. I'm gonna set you back about, probably about 30 feet. Okay. Okay. And how deep would that be? 
roughly? Um, it's not very deep because we're not using any weight. I'm guessing it's going to go maybe like two feet from the surface. Not much at all. So how come you use bait casting reels instead of spinning reels when you troll PK? Well, the these bait casting reels, um, they're nice because they don't uh, they don't have a lot of line twists like the um, spinning reel, and at the same time they got the line counter, so that way you know how far back you're fishing. You know what? I'm gonna put you at 40 feet. Okay. You're the expert. First time. Yep. And the line counter is really nice when you're trolling because it just lets you know how far back you are. And what pound test? What pound test line are you using? This is, I believe, this is six pound test. And is it braid or mono? This is mono. All the way? Yep. Okay. Mono all the way. For my setup, I got a half ounce here, a half ounce weight, and I got a pretty long leader. Uh, this is six pound mono leader, and I also got six pound mono line on the reel. This is a spinning reel. Um, another, same thing, very, very flimsy rod. And I have a Rapala. Uh, I think this is a size, oh man, I can't, five maybe? It's a small one. It's about two and a half inches. It's a jointed uh, shad. Okay, so I'm going to use that. On this lure, I'm going to use uh, scent as well, and I'm going to use krill. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the, under that bill right there. So that's it. Maybe a little bit of joint, just to give it extra scent. There we go. So we're... We all sent it up. We're good to go. So you don't have a line counter for that rod? This spinning reel does not have a line counter. So how do you, you're just estimating then? You just estimate it, yeah. I'm going to go back about 40 feet. Got a little one. Yeah, a little guy. He is Hello. jumping. Woo! Brad's cut plug, folks. My first Oregon trout. Yep. Happy camper. Nice, dude. A little guy. A little pellet head. Come here. Okay, stop reeling, stop reeling. Woo! Man, they don't get any smaller than this, do they? <laughs> wow, he's a little one. Nice, nice lip hook. Yep. Looks like he's been uh, caught before. Oh, oh, okay, all right, buddy. He's a little guy. So skinny. There he goes, he's gone. Okay, go ahead and set it back slowly, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You want to reel it in? How about you do it, man? No, you do it. You do it. Okay. Still on there? Yep. Nice. I hope he's big enough to keep this time. It feels a little bit bigger than the last one, but you know, this is only my first time trout fishing, so I can't tell how big it is. Yeah. But man. It definitely you're... feels better than the last one. Sweet. Hopefully he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a... Oh yeah. Okay, little buddy. Holy cow, these are tiny. Well, oh, look, that is a tiny one again. Yeah, it's like the same brother. There we go. Maybe it's the same one. Maybe. There we go. Look at that, folks. Beautiful fish. So we'll let him go. He's a small one. Oh, there he goes. Easy release. I let it out to 80 that time. 80? Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try not 80. too fast. Not too fast. I'm gonna try 80 again. They do like that cut plug. All right, folks, update. Jay has two fish. How does it feel to catch your first trout in Oregon, man? That was so awesome. Yeah, that I was got cool. Got my first cabazon with PK. Got my first <laughs> lingcod with PK. Got my first trout with PK. All right, they they were kind of small, but you know what? We will take it no matter what. What a gorgeous day! Oh, I had a bite. I think had another hit. I think I had a hit, but I'm still getting used to the rod. Okay, so Jay just had another hit. Now these trout, they're pretty small. Really pretty small. They're kind of thin, like. They haven't been eating at all. <laughs> Super skinny. Um, I haven't got anything yet on the Rapala. I think I might have to switch. Uh, I didn't bring any other lure except uh, my power bait. I might just use that. I didn't bring a flasher either. Let me see what I can do. Hmm. We are trolling at about 1.2 to 1.3 miles per hour. We might keep the next fish <laughs> if he's big enough. Hopefully. That, that's a small one. Well, two small ones would have made one medium one. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot of bones to pick through. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful lake. Beautiful, beautiful. We're the only ones here. We are. It's so quiet. Look at that. Look at that awesome reflection. No wind at all. Super calm. 
See, I see surface rings. I don't know if those are trout or what. Oh, oh there's a hit. That was a hit. That was a hit. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Oh, got him. Got him. Yes, sir. I got you on the camera. I got that you good. on. That was cool. Yeah, that was really yeah, that was awesome. The bite. That was nice, yep. man. Thanks for slowing down. That was yeah. awesome tactic. See, when you slow down, oh, yeah, he might be a keeper. When you slow down, yeah. like, they think it's injured, so they nab it. Oh, that was good, man. I'm glad you watched it. Yeah. Here he comes. See a keeper? Okay, stop reeling, stop reeling. Yep, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Ooh! Whoa, all right. Heck yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice catch. You know what? We're gonna keep it. That's a nice one. All right, folks, so Jay got just got his fourth fish and I got no bite at all. Um, so I'm gonna switch out this Rapala I used this Rapala in the past in this lake and I did really well but today they are just not liking it so I'm gonna switch it out right there I can't believe they don't like that Wow all right so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it out to a power bait I don't have a flasher so I'm just gonna use this single weight on here this half ounce oh I do have a flasher <laughs> I do I forgot I brought my tackle box my little tackle box here so what we're gonna do is, yes, I feel much better now. I'm gonna use this one, this flat spoon. This is a steely, steely. I got several actually. Eh. All right, I got a mice tail here. Number eight bait holder hook. Go right through the center, just like that. Hook it on there. There it is. We're gonna, what did I put, night crawler, ah, maybe that's it, maybe it's a scent. Where's a night crawler? Here we go. So I'm gonna put night crawler, cause that's what I put on yours, huh? I believe so. Yeah, I'm gonna put night crawler scent on here. And we're gonna dab it on there, just like that. That should be good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna put some on this spoon. I'm gonna use this, uh, this uh, trout spoon, and I'm just gonna put it in the back, just like that right there so that should be good enough okay let's give that a shot so there's my power bait and my spoon that's going to act as a flasher okay and then i also have a half ounce weight on there all right so that's my trolling system dang dude you are killing it on that got the 80 as soon as i went to the 80 but yeah man that's crazy that's crazy how that i know the one flasher and the jeez Oh yeah, he's a really tiny one. I can tell right. I can tell he wasn't near as big as the other two. Okay, a little dink. Oh, he came off. Okay. Yep. It's finally. Oh my goodness! I finally got a fish. Woo! Oh, jumper. Jumper. Oh, he can't. No, he still got. He's still on there. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh no. Man, look at the boat, too. Man. <laughs> Finally had a fish on, but he came off. That was cool. All right. Well, at least I got action, huh? Yep. I think I just tried to see if it's better than the last two. Okay. I think it's better than the last two. Jay's got another one. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I think 80, because right as soon as I changed to 80, I got okay. both Sweet. of them the last two. He feels bigger. Yeah, he Looks definitely like feels bigger. Yeah. Oh, he's a bigger one. Good. He might be a keeper. Oh, he's a good one. Wait, wait, wait. Why is he brown? A catfish? Cat Are you serious? Are you serious? Catfish? No. What? What? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> well, it's my first catfish in Oregon, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That, man. A catfish. That's bit. Hey, uh, Brad's uh, cut plug. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, that's a crack up. Yeah, there we go. Let it go. This is a, it's not, it's a bullhead catfish. Okay. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that barb. Yep. Okay, buddy. Come on now. AZ. I knew it felt bigger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna let him go. 
Okay, there we go. He's off. A little bullhead. <laughs> so you got a trout and a bullhead catfish, man. Oh, what a crack up. <laughs> what a, how disappointing is that? It was like, oh, this one feels like a good one. <laughs> That's interesting. I've never caught a bullhead in this lake before. That was pretty funny. Yeah, he's a nice looking bullhead too. Like really clean, no yeah. lesion. Yep. All right, folks, here's an update. I did catch a fish today, but it came off right at the boat. And it is about 11 o'clock right now. So we got two in the cooler. And Jay has been keeping catching all the fish. <laughs> all right. You had a fun day, dude? I had an awesome day. Thank you very much. First trout in Oregon. It's pretty good. I'm very happy. Yeah, what a nice inflatable raft we got here. Man, what I a mean, beautiful day. Awesome day. This small raft is just really perfect for this small lake. It's all you need. And we got the trolling motor. Minn Kota 45, 45 pound thrust trolling motor with a uh, 12 volt um, deep cycle battery. So that's all you really need to power this small raft. Doesn't take much. We're gonna end our day here actually, folks. So, had a great day, uh, pretty awesome raft. My conclusion is, and I think my next modification will be just to add floorboard. I think that's going to be very, very useful. Yeah, um, that'll help give it a lot of stability. Yeah, a lot more stable, just easier to, to move around. And that way we don't sink into the floor when we stand up or move around. So yeah. Well, all right, folks, we're gonna wrap up here um thanks for watching jay we'll do it again soon absolutely i had a great time today pk thank you so much again yeah all right folks have fun fishing tight lines